Hi guys, welcome back to Abyss, where we bring you the latest updates on Blackpink. Today, we're diving into the explosive success of Rosé and Bruno Mars's collaboration, APT, which continues to top both domestic and international charts. On October 29, APT achieved its 50th Perfect All Kill, PAK, marking a record-breaking milestone. This week, Billboard also revealed its latest chart rankings, with APT debuting at number one on both the Billboard Global 200 and Billboard Global, excluding US charts. This marks Rosé's second number one entry on both charts. Meanwhile, Jenny also celebrated impressive rankings, as her single mantra landed at number four on Billboard Global excluding U.S. and number six on the Billboard Global 200. Both Rosé and Jenny now lead as the top two K-pop artists with the most monthly listeners on Spotify, showcasing their significant impact on the global music scene. Notably, APT also debuted at number eight on this week's Billboard Hot 100, making Rosé the first female K-pop artist to break into the top 10 of the Hot 100. Even though it didn't make the top five as previously predicted, this achievement is monumental for Rosé and the K-pop industry. Rosé and Atlantic Records wasted no time celebrating, marking this success soon after Billboard published the new rankings. Congratulations to both Rosé and Jenny. Meanwhile, the solo projects from Blackpink's members are also taking over the internet, resonating with fans and celebrities alike. In a recent interview with Kukman Ilbo on October 28th, just before her Radical Optimism tour in Seoul, Dua Lipa expressed her love for K-pop, saying she's currently enjoying Jenny's mantra and Lisa's new woman. Reflecting on her collaboration with Blackpink on Kiss and Makeup in 2018, Dua Lipa revealed she's been a fan of the group even before working with them. She shared that she initially worried if Blackpink would like like the song but was thrilled when they embraced it. The Blackpink solo wave hasn't only reached Western artists like Dua Lipa. Itzy's, Yeji, and Leah recently showed their admiration as longtime Blinks by joining in on the APT TikTok dance challenge. Their rendition was met with great enthusiasm, and even Leah joined Yeji to recreate Rosé's iconic kissing moment with Bruno Mars and APT, sparking excitement among fans. Meanwhile, Yuna, another devoted Blink posted a video of herself dancing to Mantra, drawing Jenny's attention. The Blackpink rapper reposted Yuna's video with a heart emoji on her story, thrilling Yuna and turning her into a relatable fangirl momentarily. Blackpink's impact remains unshakable, with their solo releases setting new records and inspiring fans and idols around the world. Meanwhile, as APT becomes a global sensation, the Malaysian government has expressed concerns over its influence on the country's youth, even labeling Rosé's APT as harmful music that promotes bad Western values. Recently, the Malaysian Ministry of Health highlighted APT as potentially harmful due to its perceived impact on Eastern cultural values. They have urged parents, educators, and the community to remain cautious of Western cultural elements infiltrating local spaces, pointing out that the song's social media popularity might lead young listeners to repeat lyrics without fully understanding their possible implications. In response to these concerns, Nets are questioning whether the ministry has actually listened to APT.